Good afternoon everyone, my name is Alex and today I will be talking to you about social control and social media and why social media is a relevant tool uh, in today's uh, technology based society and lastly how society conforms to social media um, especially on the internet so let me begin with defining social control. Social control is a process by which society uh, conforms to the culture and the mechanisms by which it deals with deviance. Social media uh, is a tool for sharing uh, sharing, sorry, social media is a tool for sharing and discussing uh, information um, on the internet for example uh, wikis, blogs, microblogging, video sharing, photo sharing uh, and, 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 and the list goes on and it's, it's all to do with user generated content. Uh, social media has become uh, an effective and efficient tool in modern day society and it's become relevant that, that that's the case. Um, in our Auckland uh, University studies showed that 78% of New Zealanders use the internet, 27% post messengers, 38% uh, post images, and lastly 10% uh, have a blog or keep the blog. So, how does social media control us? Social media controls us in two ways. The first way is an, an informal usage of the medium, and the second is formal usage. When, used, when people and businesses use this medium in our social groups, uh, it influences our experiences on the internet. So, let me begin with the informal usage. Students, for example, students uh, uh, use this, use social media as a way to uh, you're able to remove uh, comment and, and and block a person uh, for whatever reason to make them feel or make make them think about you know what your actions you know what, what your actions to influence them and in, in, in a way social networking sites uh, they. They suggest or allow people you, uh, that who, who you want uh, to add. And lastly, video sharing sites. Video sharing sites like uh, YouTube allow people to rate, comment, video reply, and uh, allow users uh, on your profile. So the main example um, I want to be showing you is a YouTube clip. And here's the clip now. So, in this particular video, um, it got millions of views. And, and from doing an informal action, in an informal way, um, that person got n informal comments, like, um, th th yeah, they got informal comments, and, and it made you think and feel um, about this person or these groups of people Made you made you think and and, and 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 that's why people comment on it and and some YouTube users uh, they try to strive to get uh, these types of views um, for the purpose of uh, for whatever purpose it could be uh, for uh, partnership or for social validation in, in the social groups uh, on the internet to feel uh, t to feel really good but um, I think mainly because uh, mainly because of uh, uh, users will make in a formal video, or like the one I showed you, uh, to help turn uh, their vi informal videos into a profitable uh, business uh, for their usage, which leads me to the formal usage. Uh, businesses uh, use social media to promote and uh, to, to promote their products and services. Uh, so whenever someone on YouTube 
uh, clicks on the video, uh, YouTube will get a percentage of that um, because it's a business. I'm saying it's, it's a business. Um, employees, employees use it to keep an eye on their. Um, oh, sorry, em employers uh, use it to keep, keep an eye on their employees. Um, so if you make a, an informal comment uh, or formal action on on that social networking site, they can um, take that into account and use it as a formal way of discipline and and dismiss and, and dismiss you basically. And there's a United uh, Kingdom lady. Um, she, oh, sorry, in the UK, there's this uh, UK lady, and she uh, said some comments about her boss, and uh, she uh, she got fired, and she got told to leave the company within six months. Governments, um, governments use it uh, to monitor content and uh, use it to issue um, notices on Facebook. And you can check that information on uh, New Zealand website and it's .co.nz for that. So the main example of uh, formal, formal usage is um, at schools, uh, schools like uh, well, universities, uh, for example, has two Facebook accounts. Uh, one's uh, the United and Careers and Employment Services. They have the, the ability uh, to uh, to to uh, either allow or or, or remove comments that you make it depending on the content on whether it's formal or informal um, because of uh, of that they do that so the reputation um, doesn't go down for that university so there was a couple of cases when uh, the team he um, he taught on this on this high school uh, and his high school pretty much disciplined him uh, uh, for those uh, those those comments towards the school, and, um, um, and and I think there are other cases as well. But that's one of the cases that of of using social media, um, it, it can get around and and it can it can go viral, and and that's the thing with the formal usage of it is that. Uh, not only uh, schools use it to to market uh, to market uh, their own um, their own general or whatever uh, what is it? businesses use it as well to to promote their services as well as schools they use it to promote you know the education that they're going to provide to you so um, it's 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 very uh, influential so the conclusion the conclusion is that I've defined social control. And social media. Oh, sorry, I've defined social control and social media. Um, I've shown why it's a relevant and almost a you know necessity tool, a relevant tool, in, uh, in today's uh, technology-based uh, society. And I've shown how how uh, how informal and formal usage of social media uh, can uh, influence and market uh, your product, or service, or or message, whatever that may be, to 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 make people feel or think in a certain way. So, I'll end this. I'll end this with a quote. Uh, learn from yesterday. Live for today. Hope for tomorrow. The most important thing is to not stop questioning. Thank you.